affecting 50 million people worldwide, epilepsy is one of the most common neurological disorders. Patients with epilepsy have chronic seizures, which are episodes in which the subject experiences involuntary movement and sometimes even loses consciousness. It has been estimated that 70% of affected people could live a life without seizures if treated adequately. The unpredictability and frequency of seizure onset, sometimes once per week, forces strong socio-economic constraints on the life of patients and that of their relatives. By monitoring patients at risk, doctors can make meaningful therapeutic decisions. However, continuous monitoring of patients creates vast amounts of data, and observation is extremely time-consuming. Researchers have developed methods to automatically detect seizure, relying on EEG data. However, there can be artifacts that trigger the detection of false positives. For example, petting neonates can trigger an EEG signal that resembles that of a seizure and mislead the automated methods. In this presentation, I will go over our recent work, which aims to identify petting from video recordings of neonates with epilepsy and eventually discard false positive detections. In this work, we have 35 videos that have been labeled with the beginning of petting and the end of petting. These are video recordings of neonates from Lucid Packard's hospital from Stanford. To optimize and evaluate our models, we extracted five second segments from these videos. Each of these segments is consequently labeled as patting or no patting, depending on whether it falls within the annotated padding time. Our objective was to classify the segments into patting or no patting. We didn't use directly the video data, but instead computed a frame-to-frame -frame correlation matrix for each frame of the segment. The idea is that patching is a repeated motion that could show some periodicity in the cross-correlation matrix. We then input this cross-correlation matrix to a neural network. We use a very simple neural network design that resembles that of ResNet network, which is a standard um, neural network architecture. We use Ada Delta optimizer. We did flipping of the correlation matrix for data augmentation and we use a weighted binary cross entropy function for the loss function. In this table, you can see the results on the validation set. It is interesting to note that thanks to the high recall, we will be able to identify most of the patching uh, samples. However, there will be some false alarms. To verify that the neural network identified the correct features in the cross-correlation matrix and not some randomly correlated artifacts, we computed the attention of the network. This, the attention of the network highlights in uh, the image areas that were discriminative for the network um, to carry on their prediction. We notice indeed that the areas with this periodic pattern in the cross-correlation matrix are picked up by the network while the rest of the correlation matrix is ignored. This confirms our hypothesis that the network uses the periodicity in the cross-correlation matrix to be able to accurately detect the patching from the video data. In future work, we will run the EEG-based seizure detection model on the portion of the data where we know that there is patching and we'll see whether there are false positive detection in those cases. If the, if the seizure EEG model detects a seizure while there is patching and our patching model detects a patching when there is patching, we'll be able to discard that detection as being a false positive corresponding to patching and improve the performance on, of our seizure uh, detection models. Eventually, we will also compute 
the cross correlation matrix on shorter segments, for example, two seconds, uh, to have a more precise uh, definition of the petting time. Thank you very much for your attention and I wish you a pleasant day.